So what is a digital workflow in implants? If you look at the implant dentistry, there is a lot of uh, digital uh, technology, digital integration that happens in it. Uh, the first step in the digital workflow is getting something called the CBCT done, which is a cone beam computerized to tomography done. That is the first step. So what it does is, if you look at a typically uh, 2D image or an orthopantomogram, it covers the entire jaw in one single film, which shows the entire teeth, uh, the jaw structure, the bone structure in one single film. That's what an OPG or an orthopantomogram does. But when it comes to a 3D view or a, a CBCT uh, plan, which is a cone beam tomography plan, it not only gives the jaw, the entire jaw is in sectioned in different slices. And we will be able to see all the entire jaw in different angles. So let me explain how. For example, in this angle called the cross-sectional view, if you look at it, each at each different places, we will see a cross-section of the images which is seen. So we will know like at each image how it is going to look. So that's a cross-sectional view. Then there is something called the longitudinal view which gives us the side to side view. That is how it is going to look from one side to the other side. So that's the longitudinal view. That's the longitudinal view. Also, it gives us something called the axial view. The axial view is top to bottom or bottom to top view. So as I go up, you can see we go down to the jaw and we, as we come up, we see that we can see images that are on the top of the screen. So this is what a CBCT. So this is the first step. So what it does is CBCT helps in a better planning the implants. It helps us to study all the structures, the quality of bone, any disease or any pathology that is there, any abnormalities that is there which help us to evaluate. So the first step is, a D, uh, is not only just an OPG, we'll take what is called a CBCT. So this CBCT then is fed to an implant planning software. Here we use something called the Galileo's implant planning software where we can virtually plan the entire surgery. You can see the mandible, our mandible has got something called the mandibular nerve which is seen there. So we can draw the nerve where the nerve is. We can also place virtually implants. You can move the implants and see where, where you can see me actually the implants are being moved. So we can plan where the implants are going to be placed. We can virtually plan the implants here. So that's the virtual planning that is done. Now, what happens here is now we know where the bone is, how good the bone is and how we can plan the implant. Now, this is one part of it. The second part what we do is we, the patient, we take a digital scan of the patient's gums and the gums jaws and then we form a model. What you see the yellow color here is the actual patient jaw model. So that patient jaw model and the CT model is integrated into one unit. What you can see here is you have got the lower jaw where we are planning implants for the lower jaw. We are planning there are teeth in the front. There are no teeth behind. So we are planning four implants for this particular patient uh, jaw. So now we have integrated the digital scan along with the CT into one unit and digitally planning the implants. The advantage of doing this digital workflow is we know what is the most ideal situation the patient should have the teeth, right? Because what is important is getting the teeth in the right place. For that ideal teeth position, how do we place the implants? So that's what this does. So this is what digital workflow in implant is all about. Uh, any questions, we'll be happy to answer. Do get in touch with us. This is Dr. Arun signing off. Until next time from Pearls Industry. Bye-bye. Do you like the video? Press the like button. Do subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive such videos. Thank you.